There we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are currently sat outside the Clipper with a, well, the first post-match reaction of the season after Liverpool have just beaten Chelsea at three, three? <laughs> two, one, oh, just three. two, one in the first game back in the WSL. Yeah. How amazing does that feel? It's unreal. Um, definitely didn't think that we'd be saying that after this game and especially after that first opening minute as well. Um, obviously giving the penalty away yeah. wasn't ideal but um, yeah just like really proud of the team the way yeah. we bounced back um, stuck to the game plan and got the job done well let's talk about the penalty first off obviously first minute of the game yeah. and we all seen it happen Jilly Flaherty or kind of you know what she goes to kick it yeah. she goes to boot it out of the box and a Chelsea player I think it was Cuthbert just nicks it away in the last second before she yeah. hits it and she hacks at her leg and now I was the first one to say, that's not a penalty. It's not a foul. But you know what? When it was a hack, it was a penalty. It was a foul. Um, and you, you know what the most important thing from that was for me is that no heads dropped. No. It was still 100% from the start. Yeah, and I think you've got to you've got to have that mentality going into this yeah. season, though. Like, you can't. If our heads would have dropped there after that first minute. That would have been it. Away, we wouldn't have got back into the yeah, game. Yeah, it would have been, it could have been so much worse and disastrous, but... They didn't drop and that's that's important that's that just shows how good this squad is yeah. mentally and i think as well and another thing to sort of look at is everyone geared up for this game for us not to win essentially yeah. it was well, look, well, champions well, we going did as well we did we were so like well we could get a draw like you know what i mean but yeah. i think liverpool really really held their own and this result in particular against last season's champions, three, cha three times champions on the bounce, will be such a message to those other teams in mm. the WSL and it's such a benchmark for, for those girls to turn around and go, look, yeah, we are here to play, we're here to, we're not just here to, what, fill numbers, we're actually here to, to participate, to win, to be competitive. Yeah. And I think that's probably the biggest takeaway from today. Yeah, and I think, well, we just did post-match with, with Katie Stengel, Ryan, Yeah. and she pointed out there that they're not here to stay in the league they're here to challenge she actually said it's stupid that people it's, think we're here to stay in the league which they, is quite they, strong words yeah but. it's very strong words and i think but it just shows doesn't it it's it's nice because you know, we will hold our hands up and say that we've said in the build up to the season that you know we'll take staying up at this rate especially this season but after that game it's like no we're gonna win the league yeah <laughs> <laughs> that might be a bit too soon yeah. but I think the fact that we can challenge the top teams puts us in good stead for the rest of the season. Yeah, for sure. And I think you need to look at this, the, the key points of the game, I think, were obviously the penalty. I think yeah. we actually came firing back a little bit more. And yeah. the first 10 to 15 minutes, I think Chelsea were very fluid, very sort of on top of us. We'd boot it back out and they'd be straight back into it. Yeah. But I think past that 20 minute mark... Liverpool were going forward. Leanne Kernan down that left hand side. I and that, today. that the Covisto chance. Yeah. Like that was massive. Yeah, the that's back post. true. And then you're looking at a completely different game, but mm. the, they were absolutely another team when they come out in the second half. Mm. And obviously a tough thing to sort of look at was the injury to Leanne Kernan. Yeah. Hoping it's nothing too bad, but a post match at the end of the game then she was in a a foot boot on crutches. Maybe that was a precaution, maybe it's something More than, serious. Yeah. We don't know at this point. But for Meg Campbell to come on and Taylor Hines at left wing. Know, what yeah. did you think of that? It was a bit of a because when obviously when Kane's coming off and Meg Campbell's coming on, you're like, oh, it well, was a bit weird. That's not the subs yeah. substitution you expect, but I, I didn't mind it. I mean, Taylor. I didn't hate it, and no. it proved to be good. I mean, let's be honest, it's not going to be something that's going to happen every game this season. No. It's just a, probably a, something that happened in the moment there. But the the thing with Taylor is she's just she's full of energy, isn't she? Um, yeah. And she presses really well. Positioning as well. She I presses think, really yeah. well, so you know there was a lot. We, there was a there was a couple of moments where the back line of Chelsea had you know a good couple of minutes on the ball. Mm. You've got to go to them, and you know Stengel did it. You should, that's how put she put them under pressure. That's how she got the second penalty. She put oh. them under pressure. Yeah. Taylor Hines putting them under pressure. That's what you've got to do. You've got to put them under pressure, and it's, it's it worked. That brings us brilliant into Katie Stengel. Mm -hmm. You know what? I knew she was going to be good in the WSL. I knew she was going to be something, but I did not know it would, one, be this soon and be that. That yeah. run for the second penalty was ridiculous. Oh, The intent, the aggression, and the strength to hold off a player who's just signed for crazy money for Chelsea, Buchanan in the back. And I think it was it Ericsson, or I think it was Ericsson who speaks for itself, the Chelsea captain. 
absolutely shrugged them off like yeah. they were a blanket. It was ridiculous. Yeah, and that's that's the thing with when you have a player like Casey Stengel up front, it's the presence of her. Mm. Um, it's the presence of her going up against the Millie Brighton and Ericsson and just giving it to them because you know a lot of players don't do that and no. you've got to you've got to sometimes be a bit nasty in this league and you do yeah we can do that so but yeah, yeah I think player of the match then who are you saying <sighs> do you know do you know whose performance I really enjoy Rachel Laws oh she was immense yeah. you know what she Jordan so, Pickford it so commanding of a box yeah. though so commanding and the little time wasty bits just made yeah. it I like mean, she, we, half we, the time she was just falling on the floor for the sake of falling on the floor not, great. it's time wasting but it's also good game management in a sense as well and that's what yeah. you because there was a we, you know, we had the question but in the build up show of who's going to start on goal and that's what you get with Lawsy you've got consistency consistency but mm-hmm. also just you've got experience yeah and you need that against these teams and it, it just showed today so i think i think for that reason i'd pick i'd pick laws but then obviously yeah. stengel's out there as well that you've got 100 percent um i think another thing that i'm really really happy about is the return of the men campbell throw-ins oh fantastic yeah. they hate the throw-ins they hate the throw-ins they didn't know how to defend they didn't it, know what to do with it which is and unreal. no team seems to know what to do no. with it we had it all last season no team seems to know how to handle it so winner. it works in our favor onto a winner yeah but Let's wrap this up then. What a day. You know what? That's such a statement. And that's like, no, you know if what? Carlsberg, this is cringe, but nothing is impossible. If Carlsberg did Sundays, that would be it. It is. And we've got a day off tomorrow. Yeah. Under obvious reasons. But <laughs> um, what what a what a day. I'm really... What a way to start the season. Honestly, three points back in the WSL. Yeah. Put our cards all down on the table and... We're ready to go again. Next weekend's the derby. Oh, that's gonna be ah, oh, that was intense. We had lift off in our seats, and I can we assure off. you that that will be the same in the derby. Oh yeah, 100%. but yes, but yeah. Anything else to add, or should we wrap it up? I think that's good. Good enough. Good to go. Up the Reds. Let's we go. Are. But yes, thank you all so much for continuing to support us this season um, and for watching this video. For one, we've got loads of other post-match content with Katie Stengel and manager Matt Beard. So make sure you go and have a watch of them because they spoke really well, I thought, post-match today. Um, But yeah, so if you liked this video and you want to stay in touch with our content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell because sometimes these videos come thick and fast, especially Mm. on a match day. So you want to be alert. You want to be aware and you want to be alert. So make sure you subscribe, as I just said. Like this video. Give us a comment down below on your player of the match because we always like to know who you think. And if you agree with us, because, yeah. hope, I mean, there's not really much to disagree with today, I don't think. <laughs> no. But you never know. But, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And we'll be back soon with another video. Bye. Bye.